Right, hey. This is Trev. What are we doing, Trev? Going to get another car. Another one? What's this one we're getting? VC. VC oh. Commodore. And what are we going to do with it? Right, eh? Hey. It's been cruising along here. We're coming up to this uh, bloke's place where this Commodore is. Hopefully we can uh, get in there. There's no fucking dogs or anything, eh, Trev? <laughs> Staying in the car for this. <laughs> All right, somewhere up here, I'm pretty sure. What have I done? Yeah. Got right, in here somewhere. See if we can find it. You've seen this car, haven't you? Can you look at it? Yeah, yeah. Well, let me just get that post. <laughs> oh, well. Go track. Fucking hell. It's up here in a shed somewhere you said to us. Super hiding spot. Hopefully you and I can get it on by ourselves and we'll see what happens. Not in there? No. Yeah. What's that under there? Ooh, that looks like it. Looky, looky. What have we here? We better pull the tarp off and have a little bit of lead anyway. It's like oh, fucking trees and shit. No. There it is here. Let's pull the tarp back, Trev, and have a look at her. Maybe we can see under here. She's already been stripped back by the looks of it. It's supposed to be V8. Well, I ain't a 308 at the moment, but it will be, will be when we're finished with it. Yeah, it's 308 too, VC. Yeah, but I mean, it ain't nothing in there at the minute. <laughs> Looking all right, any rust in it? Seals look all right. He said it was pretty clean, I'm sure. I'll take his word for it. He said it's a good good vehicle, so. Looks all right, all right. Well, let's try and get it on the freaking trailer, I reckon. Friggin' hot out here. 40 something degrees. Alright. All on, Trev? Yep. Let's go. Rough enough? Get in this aircon before we melt. Yeah. What an effort that was. Don't want to do that again. Got to get it off yet. There it is, yeah. tucked away. It's New Year's Eve, so we ain't going to be doing nothing till next year. First of all, we need to clean this shed. The dust in Mildura has been unbelievable. It's just filled our shed full of dirt. There's our booth, it's all probably full of dirt as well, but anyway, it uh, is what it is. When you live in the driest bloody joint on earth, you live in a desert. So uh, next year we'll get it off the trailer and we'll get stuck into it. Right on. We've got our uh, VC coming on, we're going to uh, convert and change it to a VC block coming on. We're going to pull the doors off, and this is a 
a door pin removing kit I have here. The, uh, not too clean there, but here we're already taking a bit out of the uh, door check, check link pin. Uh, now we're going to punch the pin out of the door here so we can move the door. Kurt's going to help me do that, so we'll see how we go. So we can do it So that's the uh, door to check in. It doesn't look too bad, not too warm, but when we put the doors back on after they're painted, we'll put brand new ones in and take any slot out. The pin is in there. Here's our remover. It just goes down inside the pin with a, a little nut screwed in there. And we put the hammer in here. And we whack it up without hitting the car. Easy as that. Then we remove the door. Zumba. The door off. All right. We got three to go. We'll talk to you after. What we're doing is just stuff the die grinder in there and these have got a rivet in them. So we're just cutting the top of the rivet off with the die grinder, just dry grinding it off and uh, then punch it through and she's off. Okay, all the door pins are out. Right, trip. Get rid of that last door. Took us probably 15 minutes, Trev, to get those doors off. Um, we're having a, we only just picked up this ute last week, our uh, ute, this sedan, and uh, we can't believe how good a nick it's in. There's bugger all rust in it. Evident looks new still, and when you look at the spur tack, the odometer, it's got 98 and a half thousand k's on it. Now. Who knows if they're original, but I reckon they nearly 100% be original. The way this car is being presented to us is unreal. There's just no rust anywhere. It is just in brilliant condition. Like even the seat belts, normally those seat belts are all faded and, and looking buggered, and they look near new. Carpet's still good. The carpet's fairly faded, I've got to say, but it, uh, it is, like, even the boot, like, I haven't seen many Commodores this era that aren't all rusted out around here, around the run channel, in the boot, in the wheel well, there's not one bit of rust where the spare wheel goes. This is just amazing, we are absolutely rat ours. So, uh, it's, uh, Magnificent. Couldn't be any happier with what we've got here. I don't have aircon, so one thing I've got to do is I've got to convert an aircon into it. But our plan is, is we're going to buy a, a VS uh, Statesman and we're going to convert a, a 
to our four injected uh, engine into it and turn it into a VC Brock Commodore. Um, there's a bit of a debate on the colour this stage, but the interior we've got to paint the maroni red colour they were, so I will, in the next step job for me is to pull that dash out of it. Um, I'll be removing the dash um, while Trav can rip the rest of the interior out of it. Um, and we're going to get the right colour paint, we'll repaint all that dash because repainting it is not a problem because that's, they are painted from factory, from new. Um, so we have a yeah, full size console to go in it. Um, we, uh, we have another donor car that we're going to, um, we've got a taco dash for it. Um, I'm going to use that speedometer in it though. Um, so I'll pull all that out. Look at the parcel shelf. That parcel shelf's probably worth three or four hundred bucks in that condition. That's magnificent. Um, roof lining's going to go. We might put that on uh, eBay or something and sell that. Um, that that roof lining is perfect. It's not a mark in it. Anyway, I'll keep going. My next job is to pull that dash out. Right, hey guys. Just want to show you guys that you don't need all the whiz bang tools to build a car. This is what we have here. It's a Tool Pro toolbox that you can buy from uh, Super Cheap Auto. It wasn't expensive, I think it was 250 bucks. Um, the Tool Pro electric air ratchet, I think was a hundred and something dollars I got it for, something like that. Um, but this is it. This is what we're going to pull the car apart with and put it back together. Um, uh, that's really all you need uh, to do the whole job. There may be a few other tools we may have to get along the way, but essentially that will be the toolbox we're going to use to pull this car apart and put it back together. As simple as that. Um, so now we're going to pull the steering wheel off. Uh, not many people have had um, luck pulling these steering wheels off. Um, sometimes you need a puller and you've got to get in there and use a puller to, to get it off. I'm going to show a quick and easy way to get it off. First of all, you loosen the nut off and you do not take the nut right off. You leave it to there. Come and hold this trap. I'm just going to make a bit of room here. It's usually easier when there's a seat in it. You just got to give it a good, get the good wax. And then leave it. Bang, off it comes, easy as that. So you don't need pullers to do everything. You just need a puller to pull it off. <laughs> easy as that, guys. Okay, guys, uh, another tip I want to give you is when you're pulling anything apart, especially with wiring or anything like that, best thing you can do is before you take it apart, take a photo of it. Because if you can see in there, very hard to see, there's two terminals that that can go on that pink wire there, or brown wire, and the best way is when you're putting it back together you just convert back to your photos, you go, oh yeah, went on the top one, as easy as that. Simple little things make your job, job a lot easier. Everybody has a phone nowadays, look at me, I'm filming on the phone, so things like that make you, when putting it back together, a lot easier. Okay. Okay guys, next one is we need to remove these out of here, they're quite simple. Shouldn't be using screwdriver, but I haven't got me dash uh, mould tools. One of my mates has borrowed them off me. So you just got to get in here and just carefully push the button, and then we'll flip out. Yep, should be. Pushing on is that little button there. You get there, and then we can see in here there's two screws. We come, we turn them round, we come up here, straight up here with our screwdriver, and we undo the two screws there. Bag 
here that we're going to name for the dash with all the screws and everything down in the back. And uh, you pull that out of there. Get the other screw out. And as simple as that. Um, and yes, I have had a lot of these dashes apart. Um, as the work for holding, I did my apprenticeship holding on these vehicles. Um, uh, we used to put air conditioning in them. That sort of stuff, so I've had a lot of these dashes apart, um, so it does come a little bit second nature to me. So I'm trying to show everybody how easy it is to dismantle one of these cars um, so that anybody can have a go at it. Sorry if it's a little bit dark. I think a lot of light in the street. Did not like switch in really good heat, look at that, normally they're all burnt out, looks new. That's Travis making all that noise up the front there. He's, uh, he's pulling all the front apart of it and getting it all ready to paint it all up, make it look all yeah. Noisy bar for the year. So I like to leave all that there, all up. I don't really like to pull them out. That looks like someone hooked up a wire, so I just don't you know where that's going, whether it's going to the radio or not. Someone's just figured out. Plugged it into a fuse. That's brilliant. Great work for the ship that is. What was that? Was that dinner? You know? Well, I made out. I do. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with that. Yeah, well, it might be some ransom. <laughs> no, slap a hard.
we go. One steering column out. Don't have a key for it. Um, I'll have a chat to uh, Brenton about that. He may have it. He's going to have to drill that out. But that's it. This is the uh, old choke cable. We ain't going to be using that again, so independent of that. There we go, simple as that. It's just clipped in. Just there, 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 four clips. And the rest of this will be all screwed in. Okay, I'm going to go around the other side for this. This is uh, tricky because it's got all the cables and everything. And the vacuum hoses. Okay. Here we go. I'll have to take a photo of this here. Got a heap of wires on it there. Um, make sure I put it back together properly. Um, but, uh, I'll keep going, all that is is me undoing screws and taking bits off and pieces here. So uh, I'll try and film as, uh, enough, as much as the hard stuff as I can to show you see. Um, the fair bit of equipment I've got here, I'll be able to show you the hard stuff as well. But I'll try and keep it as simple as possible. Just keep it simple. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'll have a chat to Brent about that. Um, I'll have a chat to Brent about how it's going to be set up. Uh, That. Just a matter of undoing screws and trying not to blow the plastic. This is a new day! Okay, under bash is all out. So, all I need is undo the screws that help with the box. And it just all just cut away. Unplug the, the wires, easy as that. Now I'm going to pull the cluster out of it and the dashboard. Vacuum hose over there, the vacuum economy gauge we're going to pull off when we pull that out. We ain't going to use that anymore. It's going to have a tack aid. We're going to unclip the speedo cable. That's it. 
Slip blade to hold the speed, I can push it down and the tire will off. And that way, as the guys is just looking to do. One dash pad out. Right now we've tucked all this wiring back in here because we don't want to pull that out. Uh, we're staying on auto so we can leave the pedal box in. When in doubt, improvise. That's the dash, that's there, so that should be written on and ripped on. I 
Can you try out of factory? See that floor. Get rid of that. Right, eh? The interior's done, eh? Might even pull that heater box out here, I'll not sure I'll think about it. 